Hey guys, welcome back. This is Memory Work Ideas for CC Cycle 2 and Week 4. This week we're skip counting the 7s and the 8s. For the 7s, we're going to use our silly voice cards and just take turns picking one, one card per round and the card will tell us what we're going to do as we skip count the 7s. So we have things like jumping jacks, this one is clapping, clap while you do it, or read each word while you do a little hula dance. So we'll just take turns picking these silly voice cards and we'll go through the sevens that way. And then for the eights, we're going to sing it to the tune of Oh Susanna. And so for that, uh, we have fun doing it with a kind of a Southern uh, country twang. And so we'll sing it that way. And that is how we'll do the sevens and the eights. We may even toss it up and do the eights the same way and pull out silly voice cards to change up how we say it. But that's how we're going to do the skip counting this week. For English, we are moving on to nominative pronouns. Nominative, basically, we're going to start out by explaining that that's like the naming, right? You're, it's the name, I. So uh, for all of our pronouns from now through, let's see, I think it's week 10, we're going to do it all to the tune of the chicken dance. And that way it's all in one song and we put it all together and then we can know all of our pronouns all together by the end of that time. So for this week, week four, we are learning the nominatives. And so it'll sound like this. We're gonna do it to the same motions that we learned our pronoun order last week for week three. So every time we say the nominative pronouns, we'll do the motion that matches it. So nominative pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. And that's what it sounds like. So we'll point for the singulars, I, you, he, she, it pointing with one finger for the plurals where for we you they we'll have two fingers just like we did the pronoun order so we you they and that is how we'll cover our English for this week for history we're gonna do again we're talking about another king and so we're gonna put on our crown we may do a, a, a fake crown or bring in your crown but we're gonna do English King John. When we say sign the Magna Carta, we're gonna hold up our hand like it's a scroll and we're gonna sign it, okay? Sign the Magna Carta in 1215. Okay, then we move on to limiting the king's power. So when we say limiting, we're gonna take our hands like this and limit it. We're gonna limit it. We're making it from big to small. So limiting the king's power gonna hold out our hands like this and really emphasize power okay limiting the king's power then we move on to later England's King Edward the third so when we say that we're gonna do the third claim to be King of France and we'll do this sign for France take our ASL F and wave it around for France and then he began the hundred C for century and we'll do the sign Hundred Years War in 1337. And those are the motions that we'll do for history. For Latin, we are moving on to the first conjugation endings. Imperfect tense, not moving on. It's going to be the same as last week. And so we will do our same motion that we did last week for, for that. So, uh, bom, bas, bat, bomis, batis, bont, bom, bas, bat, and that's how we do Latin. Again, we're doing the, the, the motion that sounds like the first sound, which is bomb, um, and then keeping it in showing the pronoun order of singular and plural, first, second, and third person. Okay, for timeline, we are always going to start out by showing which timeline cards we're introducing that week. So which seven parts of the timeline we'll talk through them. I'll show the cards so that the kids can see the pictures of that. And then we'll go through the motions as we look at the cards and sing the song very slowly without music to begin with. So we'll go through the motions. And then once we do that slowly, then we'll do all of that together with the music and the motions. And that's how we do timeline each week. I will have the motions and the tune linked below in case you wanna see that and review that. And then we have geography, which is European rivers. For European rivers this week, we are actually going to use little fishy crackers. Um, just something to maybe make sure it's okay 
diet wise, allergy wise with your class, but this is a fun way to re review rivers or anything related to water if that works. If not, then you can maybe bring in just a fishy figurine that doesn't involve eating or anything like that that is related to fish in the water. Okay, or maybe just find another fishy type of treat that is acceptable for everyone in your group. But we'll go through all the rivers using little fishy crackers. And then I got this tune from Funny Cheryl. She sings it to the tune of Farmer in the Dale, and it sounds like this. European rivers, European rivers, Seine, Rhine, Elbe, and Po, the Danube and the Volga. And that is how we're going to review all of our geography this week. And then last but not least, we have science. And for science, we're learning what are some parts of the food chain. And so for that, we're going to do some motions just to get active and fun. So we're gonna start on the ground for producer and we're gonna stand up tall and raise our hands up tall like a tree. And so we'll do that for producer. For consumer, we're going to act like we are eating the leaves of that tree, okay, or anything. So consumers. You could also just pull up your grass like last week and go like this, eating, right? And then we have decomposers. And for decomposers, we're just going to stop and kind of um, move our feet into the ground like we're decomposing something, breaking something down. So that's what we're going to do for motions for science. I don't remember who I learned this tune from, but the first year that I went through cycle two, we did this to, I have a note here of the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man? And so we'll probably continue to sing it that way. And that sounds like this. Some parts of the food chain are producer and consumer, then the decomposers. Stomping my feet. These are some parts of the food chain, and that is science. And last but not least, we have a review. And for a review this week, we are going to do dress up the tutor or a parent. And so I will just bring in lots of things from our dress up bin. Wings, um, little things to go on your head, uh, mustaches, glasses, just some fun things that you could bring nose to put on. Fun things that you could bring, even stickers that you can have them put on your face and make you look so super funny. This is one of our favorite things to do for review. Just have the kids dress you up. But each time that they pick an item, they got to answer a question first. So you pick the questions as the tutor, they answer the question, and then that person, as a group, they can answer it. If you don't want it to be competitive or put anyone on the spot, they can still answer it as, as a group. But whoever uh, got to have their turn then as we they answer the question then that person will come up and they will pick what to put on and so that's how we'll do review uh it should be a super fun week i hope that this has been helpful if you have any questions let me know otherwise i'll see you next week for week five bye